Phishing. Uh, phishing is a fraudulent attempt. Actually, I'll call it practice pa nga eh, kasi it's not just one off, right? It's a fraudulent practice to induce individuals to reveal sensitive personal information such as usernames, passwords, credit card details. Yung mga ganyan, no? By disguising as a reputable company uh, in an electronic communication. Typically, it's done through email or text messaging and it often directs users to enter personal information at a fake website. You know, the look and feel of which is very identical to the legitimate site. These emails frequently use threats or they scare. Tinatakot nila yung mga users, right? So that they, you know, they will actually respond. The information entered through the fake website becomes stolen user data, which includes, again, yung mga login uh, details nyo and uh, other confidential in personal information. The fraudster then uses the stolen data to access legitimate accounts. Pag nangyari yun, they're free to transfer monies to his or her account. Phishing is an example of the, you know, you've heard the term social engineering. You know, it's a technique used to deceive users. Parang may pain. You know, they bait. Kaya phishing yan, di ba? Parang naging isda ka. And uh, uh, except when you're phishing, right, you're trying to get fish. In this case, you're actually trying to get data. Yun ang ninalakaw sa victim, yung, yung data na yun. Uh, it is a crime. In fact, uh, it is a, uh, a type of what they call identity theft. You know, it's, it's a crime. Identity theft, identity theft covers any instance where someone attempts to use someone else's personal information in a fraudulent or illegal manner. Though phishing scams are very common. Actually, we have some stats that uh, I've seen. The annual worldwide impact of phishing could be as high as five billion U.S. dollars. And I also learned that 90% of data breaches are through phishing. So attempts to deal with phishing incidents include legislation, user training, public awareness, and technical security measures. In the Philippines, sa atin, phishing is one of the 16 cyber crimes covered under Republic Act 10175. It's the Cyber Crime Prevention Act. So based on the fraud cases, sophisticated phishing has been on the rise. There are many more cases where targets of phishing are able to detect fraudulent nature of emails, but they still don't do not report the emails. Sa atin, sa BDO, if you receive a suspicious email, we encourage you to report it to report phishing, R-E-P-O-R-T-P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G, at bdo.com.ph. Okay, in the context of BDO, no, let's, let's, think, let's talk about that. There are people out there who are sending fake emails that look very real. They send it to as many people as they can hoping to reach BDO clients, so it's a broad approach. Some BDO clients will be fooled by what seems to be an authentic communication from the bank. Based on samples na nakita namin, they look authentic. They have our logo, they're really good ones using the same fonts and color schemes. Marang tunay talaga. Even the email address looks authentic. The only clue, and this is important, right, that would alert the reader to phishing, is the content of the email. BDO will never, never ask for your sensitive personal information. Never. So pagka meron na kayo nakitang ganun sa content, asking for some, some of those things, then you should be suspicious. It's probably not BDO. Oh yeah, they, they pretty much get... <laughs> get everything. I mean, once you've, you've uh, went to the website, the fake website, and then you started entering personal information, that's it. Ulti ultimately, the information that is harvested from the phishing attacks will be used to steal money from you, from the accounts. There's what we call uh, multi-factor authentication. Uh, multi-factor, uh, usually three factors ngayon. Ah. Ang, ang, ano na ngayon ang trend is three factors. Uh, what you know, which is the ID and the password, right? That's one factor. What you have, which is the device, your phone, mo, right? So without your phone, you know that it's you. This kind of identifies you as well. The third one is who you are. The who you are part in your pending fingerprint, pending your mukamo as in facial recognition. So that's multi-factor authentication. However, BDO uh, cannot prevent the unauthorized use of authentic credentials. Pag binigay niyo po ang uh, username, password, and other personal information to someone else, 
then that person can now access your account. So in fact, fraud is defined broadly as an authorized use of authentic credentials. Right? So in addition to multi-factor authentication, BDO, we also use a service right, to take down suspected phishing websites. So reported phishing attempts are investigated by a BDO cybersecurity partner. Meron tayong partner dyan. And the goal is always taking down the website that phishing email uses to acquire sensitive personal information. As I said, report nyo lang yan. No? Kung meron kayo nakitang suspected phishing attack, report to reportphishing at bdo.com.ph. Now, all that said, right, the fraudsters are always a step ahead of us. Kasi yan ang trabaho nila full time, right? So we're always uh, admittedly catching up. Pero bakit natin sila pababaya ang manalo, right? Together, in partnership with our clients, ito yung advocacy natin. You know, this is our fight. In, in we need to thwart these phishing attempts. Dapat equip tayo sa, laba, sa laban na ito. And it starts with awareness. So education, right? Consumer education is key. So as you'll always hear from us going forward, together with BDO, say no to phishing. As I said, no, pag meron kayong suspicious emails na natanggap na ganyan, i-report nyo na yung report phishing at bdo.com.ph. So that's one. Right? Tsaka tulungan ho tayo. No? Parang, if you know it, you have to share it with us and then we can help you based on also what we know. So again, as I said, parang advocacy natin yan. Ano? Kasi we should not allow the fraudsters to win. Uh, you know, I think most other banks should be in the same position. The industry should be in the same position. There will always be uh, fraudsters who try to, to prey on uh, Unsuspecting, uh, vic unsuspecting victims. So, tulungan po tayo dyan. So, I think if we, uh, if all of us uh, do our part, again, report it, wag ho kayo magbibigay ng information, hindi hindi kami magtatanong ng, ng ganon sa inyo. So, pagka ganon, suspicious na ho yun. So, uh, i-report niyo sa amin. And we'll do, we'll do our part based on what I've said before. Marami na rin kaming measures na ginagawa on the technical side, on the cybersecurity front, we're using a partner, uh, and some of the other um, educational uh, programs that you know, we're, we're going to be putting out there.